Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath, you are watching Sampath SanFX YouTube channel and this is POCO X3 custom ROM reviews. This is an Arrow OS 12.1 GF's official version. It recognizes kernel is applicable for Surya to my variant. It's Indian variant 6GB, 128GB variant. It's applicable for both the variant 5th September 2022. Latest security patch and kernel user is 4.14.288. Arrow kernel has been used build date you can see September 13 this is the latest available build with Android version 12.1 you might be thinking why Android 12 not Android 13 see this is very crucial update of the particular ROM if you get one more it would be better or if it is the last you can have a, a copy of this file it will be useful in order to get you very good battery life and overall very good battery life and charging speed a thermal based uh, what you can say battery efficient ROM you are looking then you need to have a copy of this particular ROM you try any other ROM uh, apart from spark OS and some other ROMs you will get extraordinary battery life from this particular ROM I am not saying it like that I tested lot more ROMs in this channel you can check out and I experienced the same I hope you guys also agree for it if you don't agree it i don't bother it you need to follow some of the steps in order to get a similar kind of experience just use the latest twrp and use the firmware global here always i was just tell this but few people don't understand i will be giving in the description also have a check out and i have been running cpu throttling test you can see here 14 minutes 44 seconds and 6 milliseconds the maximum is 191 it's now from now on it's i'll try check for 100 threads process only the cpu throttle interest and average is 174 minimum is 137 it's throttled to 82 percent of its max performance you can see even after 15 minutes it's not getting that much throttle here it's still in yellow lines it's good actually thermal throttling is limited in this particular ROM. it's very low or negligible you can say this is the performance and this is the quick settings panel you get here as you can see power button here only it's an Android 12 based you go into settings here the UI is also smooth enough not bad either and if you want you can add some of the options as you can see you can drag and add them this is a very good ROM you can disable the location and those settings you get a lot more battery life again I'll tell you and let me add these things okay let me disable this even without disabling that i am getting very good battery life in this particular rom and there's a home settings you get you get this kind of launcher here quick step launcher maybe let's see developer options you can customize some of the home settings also as you can see lock screen settings those i will be explaining and widgets you get basic widgets here and total monet engine customization is available wallpaper and style you won't get any wallpaper some basic colors are limited it's an and total upgrade there are options up to 6 into 6 also as you can see this is how the rom actually runs in 6 into 6 option and you can use it as a one-handed mode also you can see here let me change back it to font size also you can adjust system icon packs upgrade i'll go back to 5 into 6 here now it's fine and this is the actual settings it's very smooth as you can see the responsive ui you can find for poco exhibition and android 12 i am speaking and then into system you get update also if you want to update it you'll get frequent updates but i it's up to you guys i <laughs> if i don't recommend also you guys follow it and uh, update from here I personally don't like it use clean flash method always and take a backup of your files so system navigation you can see there is no bar because I disabled even with enabling this gesture bar it's too tiny you can see hardly you can see it very tiny instead of that I'll disable that they need to add it but I don't know why they done like this and swipe to screenshot toggle torch when screen off and some of the gesture settings shortcuts are working fine here and location settings are also working fine privacy you get all the basic settings you can enable or disable from your microphone camera access accessibility menu text and display 
you can adjust the font size and display size. it was too tiny in my opinion i kept a large and here 105 bold text if you want bold text you can enable dark theme here as you can see use bl black theme it, now it's in pitch black condition this one thing it really makes a difference for me at least i don't know how you guys dark theme use it settings accessibility menu is also working fine shortcut menu which is a handy feature to have in aosp roms add your adjustment is given caption this accessibility menus wallpaper sun style already set and display settings you can see are adaptive brightness working for screen timer you can choose the options dark theme as i said before there is a which black condition font size display size you can adjust here nightlight feature is also working for intensity you can adjust colors there is a rgb strength and some of the uh, features you can enable or disable and minimum refresh rate, keep it to 60 and maximum keep it 90 here then you will get a extraordinary battle if you can say that if the same settings applied in any other roms will i get the same no you can check out you can use these settings in any other roms and you can use the same format the global one you won't never get it uh, because i tested it couple of times and couple of days i did not explain it previously like this because i wanted to test is it really happening or not it is happening hence you can use it as a dial driver if you're looking for a battery efficient rom now moving into sound settings here also you get basic settings and me sound enhancer direct sound settings you get just headphone type and preset from here touch vibration haptic feedback you can enable or disable from here and some of the tones you can enable or disable from here and battery as i said you can check out here it was around only just 55 percent now it's one hour five minutes for six percentage you are getting almost a hour of screen on time which is incredible in my opinion if you want a little bit better performance and mediocre battery life you can check out spark OS also very next to this that will have very good battery life this one will have excellent battery life in my opinion and this build number the build date whatever september 13 build the latest uh, latest update and maybe the last update based on android 12 keep it copy of this will be useful for it will be useful for you in the further that's how the bad life regarding this and the 33 watt charger support let me show you as you can see charging rapidly the 33 watt charger support is also available in this room i tried multiple times and multiple versions of this arrow is it did not disappoint me in terms of charging speeds and also the battery life battery life is extremely good in this particular rom you can definitely try to test it daily to refer that kind of person who need battery efficient rom and the charging speeds are good and performance is also fine even the benchmark results are fine here you can see here three lakh fifty nine thousand six hundred and fifty two and temperature raise was 2.6 degrees celsius and three percentage of battery drop has been noticed during the center to benchmark results which is fine in my opinion and geekbench scores you can see here single score 557 and multi score 1646 and linux 4.14.288 arrow kernel maybe because of this kernel it's so much efficient i don't know but overall package with this particular rom you are getting very good battery life and basic thing like drm information level one certification and safety net status it will get passed you can use all the applications payment applications no problem regarding that the fm radio application is available you can utilize that simple rom you won't get yeah gallery application is available i did not see in that installed google google gallery. and overall this rom is extremely good in my opinion and that's it i hope you guys understood and bgm also you can play it casually it's fine you won't get any high fps count here i have tested it also this is how the rom performance you can see multitasking and day-to-day -day uses split screen option all those things are also working fine you can see here it's cool enough to have this kind of rom for poco xc slash nfc just think of it and uh, if you want uh, don't jump to android 13 versions as of now you, it will take a lot more time yeah, as of now it's in, uh, september right similarly you can try in next year september maybe at that time under 13 arrow is or some other OS at that time whatever rom is fine 
you can find that and have a have it as a daily driver hope you guys like this video we'll meet with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now